Hey Thirders, Paul the Third MC here, and welcome back to another Texture Pack Tuesday video. This Texture Pack is, in my opinion, one of the greatest Texture Packs ever in Minecraft. Yes, I said it, one of the greatest Texture Packs ever in Minecraft. It's the Faithful Texture Pack by Vatic. There will be a download link in the description. But actually, Ironwood Workbench showed this to me, and I noticed that it was in like Ant Venom's videos, Juistra's, and it's just an amazing Texture Pack. Basically, it stays true to the real textures of Minecraft, but it's high, more like high definition, like the pixels are closer together, like as you can see on this sword, and it's just really, really cool. So let's just get started here. We have my house with the wooden stairs as a roof, wooden planks, glass pane, cobblestone for the outside, and then we got your dispenser with loads and loads of diamond. And we just walk in here with your wooden doors. We have your chest, same thing as usual, enchantment table, pistons in the back, your painting, your beds, furnace, crafting table. Then right here we got your brewing stand, cauldron, got your note block, and then your jukebox. Then we got my family of cats right there, wooden plank floor. We fly up here, we got bookshelves. Some different mine, uh, mine cart here, running on some track. Then if we open this up, we got even more diamonds. So yeah, I really love this so far. It's just an awesome texture pack. We got torches in the corner. Now if we head out here, we'll go see the sandstone in the trees. We got your regular sandstone here, creeper hieroglyphic sandstone, and smooth sandstone. You can tell what everything is in this texture pack. That's why I really like it. But it just makes Minecraft so much neater, and I just really enjoy it. Now here you got your oak tree, your pine tree, your birch tree, and your jungle tree with vines on it. In the middle of these we got your yellow and red flowers with redstone lamp in every one of the corners along with that tree's corresponding wooden planks. Then if we head over here, we got sugarcane, wheat, pumpkin, melon, clay, and cactus. This is all surrounded by the smooth stone brick, the newest one. If we jump in a boat right here, we got your chicken flapping. <laughs> then we got a big mushroom with its little baby mushrooms. We got your red and brown. Now if we head out over here, keep on going. We can see that we got your animated lava and water over here. The lava surrounded by obsidian. Oh god. And the uh, Water is surrounded by cobblestone. Yeah, I really like the look of lava and water. It looks really, really nice. And if we head back here, maneuver with this boat, at least try. Hello, chicken. We'll go see all the ores in our little dungeon setup. Okay, let's just hop out now. Okay, so we just head over here. Now we got your little dungeon set up with your regular stone brick, mossy and crumbling stone brick. We got iron bars right there and there, and cobwebs in the back. If we head down your stone brick stairs here, we got a stone flooring. And then we got your diamond, your gold with the diamond block on the bottom, gold block on the bottom, iron ore with the iron block on the bottom, mossy cobble, cobwebs in the corners with torches. Got your bedrock right here, gravel. Over here we got redstone with your redstone wire, lapis lazuli with your lapis lazuli block, and coal. And right here we got your mob spawners and your end portals. Well, ender frame with your end stone and your eyes of ender. Yeah, now if we head up here, we can go see the mobs. They all basically look the same. We got your piggy, your chickens, your mushroom, your sheep right there, your cow. And then we got your wolves, <laughs> who just have his adorable little face. And then we head over here. First, we gotta stop by with your villager in a minecart. As I said before, there's always gonna be new mob in there. So, just try to anticipate what will be next. Now we got your iron doors right here, really nice and chic. Iron bars, netherrack burning up here with your nether brick fence. And this whole building's nether brick. Now, if we push this button right here, can walk in, we got your chest, glowstone in the corners, with your obsidian frame and nether portal right here. 
Now we're going to just head inside here. Entering the nether. Now we got your nether rack. Looks really nice. We got your soul stand. We got a huge pool of, pool of lava right here just about to descend. We got your nether wart. You're fully grown, moderately grown. And then we got your still in the earliest stage of nether wart. Here we got your mob eggs. All look basically the same. They're just a lot cleaner. Oops. <laughs> and now I have all of them. And apparently all the mobs have escaped, so if we just change our survival here, I'll spawn a few for you guys. We're gonna spawn a creeper. Zombie. Not a wolf. Uh, we'll spawn a gas. Might as well kill ourselves. No blaze. Motion. Where are you, skeleton? Okay, apparently the skeleton isn't there. But let's just spawn these. We got your zombie. Still looks the same. Oh god. You can die. We got your creeper. A little more high definition, as you can see. I like the look of the creeper better. Then we got your ghast. Oh crap. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna have to kill you sometime. Yeah, it's, I like the look of ghast. They still look the same, but... So now if we head over here, we got a sapling right here. We got your nether brick fences, your glowstone with cobblestone stairs and a cobblestone path. And another ghast over there. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Okay, let's just... Yeah. Gonna have to deal with this gas. Almost at the nether fortress, nether stronghold, whatever you want to call it. Well, bam. Oh, that should hit him. Come on, you're done. Okay, I'm just gonna run for right now. If we look up here, we got your zombie pigman. I'll probably get a better view soon. If we open it here, we got your brown mushroom, just your basic nether stronghold. Look out over here. We just got all your big pools of lava. The basic nether. We head back here, we can go see our friend, the gas. Oh, and I got the achievement, return to sender. It's really cool, actually. I didn't know I'd get that. Okay. <laughs> That's unexpected, but now if we just head back here, we can go back to the main world. Oh, just stepped in fire there, but whatever. So now we head back. And over here we got your villager, still looks the same, surrounded by TNT. Hello Samuel, how are you doing today? You can just tell he's smiling from ear to ear, he's so happy with this new texture pack. And now for the final thing for this texture pack Tuesday video, I'm going to give you a quick showcase of the creative menu. So I'm just going to scroll down slowly, you can look. As you can tell, everything is so much more high definition. Like, what I really love is the armor. Like, the tools, and then if you look at the armor here, just, it looks really cool. Overall, a great texture pack. I just love it so much. And I'm probably going to be using it for a while, so if you're going to be watching all my videos, just always expect this texture pack, mainly. So, yeah, I really do love this texture pack. It's really cool. This is what the armor looks like from the outside. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope that you have a great day on this Texture Pack Tuesday. Bye!